Tonanini and the Car Doctor. Thanks for stopping by the garage today. We're working on this 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee, getting it ready for summer. So we're looking at, you know, some of those summer systems, and one of them is the cooling system. And there's a reason they call it the cooling system, because you have to look at everything. It works together. Danny's on the camera. Danny, come on in. Get up a little closer here. All right. So some of the things to point out and be aware of. Thermostat. The thermostat sits right behind this elbow right here. There's the bleed for it on this Jeep, okay? The thermostat helps regulate engine temperature. Common failure on these Jeeps, you've probably put one or two on if your Jeep is older than three or four years, so just be aware. Thermostat's common, typically sets a P0128 fault code. Water pump, okay, the water pump is just beyond here. They actually last a long time on these 3536 uh, Jeep V6s. They last a long time. We haven't done one on this yet. It's got 100,000 miles on it. It spins good. We looked at it. It's dry, so there's no issues there. Hoses, hoses carry the coolant to the radiator, which is just here in front, all right, if we can get a shot of the top of it anyway, but that's the top of the radiator. Hoses carry it, all right, we've looked at the hoses, we don't see an issue with them, and we'll probably do those come next year, because the customer, frankly, has done a lot of other work to this, brakes and fluids and some of the other things, so we're trying to stay within a budget, but the hoses do look good on this, we have checked them, and they are part of the system, something to be aware of. The heater core is actually the tubes here down around in the back. The heater core is also part of the cooling system. And then, of course, you've got the engine itself, the heads, the area in between, which would be the head gaskets. So all these things work together as a system. Now, if you pan back a little bit, Danny, we're filling the system, right? And we're going to open up the bleeder and burp air. We're using Peak Coolant. Peak makes a great coolant. It's 50-50 premix for this vehicle. All right, we've added to it. We're about to burp it. We will watch it drop down, make sure all the air is out. But my point becomes, you know, as the system is there, the key factor is the coolant, right? Because you can take all those components. If you use a cheap coolant, then you've just condemned everything I've talked about to a shorter life. We've used peak in this vehicle since the first time it was changed. We will continue to do so like we do in so many of the other vehicles because peak makes a good coolant. So think about that when you're going to the parts store. Think peak. I'm Ron Anini and the Car Doctor. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys on radio. Did you miss this week's full broadcast of Ron Anini and the Car Doctor? Or maybe you want to hear certain parts of it all over again. Well, it's easy to do. Once the show airs, it then becomes a podcast. You can find it through all major podcast players and media. iHeartMedia, Google, Amazon Music, Spotify, and so much more. Use your favorite search engine and ask for Ron and Anian Podcast. Watch what happens next. Need more Ron? That's okay. Look for Ron and Anian, available via podcast, wherever podcasts are found.